Hey fellow investors, this is Charlie Tian, Guru Fox again. Today I want to talk about dividend investing. And dividend can be a very important part of the income for retirees. Especially today because the interest is so low, the bond is yield nothing. And uh, one way to mix a constant cash flow, to get a constant cash flow, is to invest in through high dividend companies. And these high dividend companies may even grow their dividend over time. And in this way, you will have a higher income over time. I want to give you some examples here on GuruFox website. If you look at here, if we come to GuruFox website, and if I come to a company, Johnson Johnson, which is a very good dividend stock. And uh, you can give you this as an example to see if Johnson Johnson is a good dividend stock. And uh, as the information we show here, it's under the Guru Fox dividend tab uh, for every stock. And that Johnson Johnson has been increasing their dividends since 1963. So the longer they have been paying interest, the more likely they are going to increase their dividend over time. And currently, the uh, dividend yield of Johnson Johnson is 2.7. And an important ratio here is a growth rate. The five-year growth rate of uh, dividend growth rate of Johnson Johnson is about 6.3%. So assuming you buy today and the Johnson keeps increasing their dividend as a current rate, in five years, your the yield on your cost will be 3.58. Of course, the higher it increase their dividends and the yield on cost will be higher today. So how do you know if the dividend is safe? Of course, one thing is you see how long they have been increasing their dividend. And another thing is whether the company is making enough money to cover the dividend. Here is it's a dividend payout ratio. This payout ratio is calculated as dividend per share divided by, divided by earnings per share. And if you look at this um, chart, you can see this green line here is Johnson Johnson's earnings per share. And the red line is a free cash flow per share. So, And this blue line is the dividend per share. You can see that for many years, dividend per share of Johnson Johnson is uh, much lower than the cash flow of the company makes and the, and the earnings of the company make. Uh, so uh, from this, I can, I can have very good confidence to see that Johnson Johnson's dividend is safe. Of course, here is a dividend yield history and you can see that uh, at different times, the yield can be different depending on stock price. And you'll want to invest such kind of dividend company when the yield is at historical high, like it was in 2011. Currently, the yield is, is, is lower than it was, but still 2.7%, which is not bad compared with other companies. And another company, i give you an example uh, here is uh, Chevron. And Chevron, of course, we know it's an oil company. And uh, it has been paying dividends since 1982, which is actually not bad at all for so many years, more than 30 years. And the Johnson Johnson current dividend yield is very high, much higher than John, uh, I mean, Chevron dividend yield is much higher than Johnson Johnson currently is yielding at more than 5.7%. Uh, uh, and the growth rate is not that high. Uh, but yield on cost in five years will be more than 6%. It sounds great. If you have a million dollars in, in Chevron, it will give you uh, more than 60,000 a year of income. And the Johnson Johnson dividend yield is uh, highest for in more than 30 years because the stock price went down dramatically, as you can see here lately. And um, of course, we worry about if the dividend is safe. And one way to look at it is, as I said, the earnings per share, the free cash flow per share compared with uh, the dividend per share. You can see that because oil price hasn't been uh, very favorable in the last few years, uh, both the earnings and free cash flow of uh, Chevron has come down dramatically. And especially with the recent oil price decline, and the earnings and 
free cash flow, free cash flow of John, uh, Chevron have come down much lower. And today, the earnings per share is higher than the free cash flow it can generate per share. So at this point, we we don't know. We don't know if this dividend of Chevron will be safe. If oil price stay low for much longer, we don't know. And uh, this is the dividend payout ratio. You want to make sure that this dividend payout ratio is oh is below one. And currently, it's much higher than one. It's like three. And in this way, the dividend may not be safe. Again, this is Charlie Tian, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that I answered your questions regarding to dividend investing. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave in the comment area. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Please enjoy the video and feel free to ask any questions. Hope to see you again next time. Thank you.